I share the story that I know God has a mission for me. Several years ago, not in the house I live in now, I come home that night. My present wife was in my house waiting for me to get off of my, I did my television show. I was on cable every night then. I dropped my assistant off. My garage, man, was off track. You know, you had to get out and lift it up. Mm -hmm. I pulled up in my car with my diamonds on, my bracelet on, I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. I get out and raise my garage door. Get back in the car to go into the garage. And before I can close my door, a young fellow has a nine millimeter in my head. Tells me to get out of the car. I get out. By this time, I see two more guys. One guy's being chased by a dog up the street, so he never showed up. But I had a van in my yard. The other young man came to the edge of the van. He's about three feet from me. The man that told me to get out the car said, lay down on the ground. I said, no, if you're going to kill me, you won't kill me standing up. Then ask for no money, then ask for no jewelry, then ask for the car, keys to the car. Mm -hmm. Lay down and die. I said, no. The other guy, at the edge of the guy, three feet away, Open fire on me, Chris. Bang, bang, bang. Hell, I ran to the other side of the car to get out of the firing range. They took off running, probably thinking they killed me. Man, I'm sitting on the ground by the tire. A real child, my car. I'm touching myself, man. Because I know I was close enough. I could see the fire coming out of the gun. That's going to be shit. Man, I wasn't hit nowhere. Nowhere. And I knew at that time. Wow. Praise be to God. But go ahead. That God had a mission for me, man. Didn't a bullet nowhere. I'm three feet, man. He was supposed to be able to shit me. If God has not had not grabbed the bullets. Out of the air. Please ask me. That is, were you alone? I said, I thought I was. And the white boy looked at me crazy. He said, You thought you was. I said, Yeah. But I don't figure out. I had two more passengers. He totally messed up now. He said, Who were they? A guy named Grace, and the other one was named Mercy. God gave me grace, and mercy spared my life. I had a stroke last year. I was in the hospital about three, four days. I had a heart attack in September, a massive. 
And some thought I was, they was putting up on social media, Thaddeus Matthews, then finally met his maker. Uh, but here I am, here I am to talk to you today and talk to your audience. See, many don't know who the cussing pastor is. You, you, you hear the cussing. And please know that some of what I do is entertainment purposes. Uh, I'm an entertainer. I do a show every day. At, I do 300 some shows a day. I am a controversial figure, but I stand for what I believe in and believe in what I stand in. And if I stand on it, I'll say it, and I don't care what nobody else thinks about what I say and do. Uh, that's who the cussing pastor is. Uh, boy that was born of a 16-year-old girl in North Memphis, in an area they call New Chicago. No father just raised by women. Statistically, I wasn't supposed to make it. Statistically, I looked at some of the people in the neighborhood I grew up with daddies that didn't make it. And if not, say I had a, a praying grandma. You, you, you remember them praying grandmamas? Oh, yeah. Huh? Them, oh, them, yeah. I had, I had a praying grandmama that kept telling God to watch over me. And, and, and the word says, the prayers of the righteous, and that was a righteous woman, the prayers of the righteous prevailed much. I'm still living because of some of that old woman's prayers, my friend. That's who the cousin pastor is. Well, Pastor Matthews, again, I thank you for your time. I, I, I think you even the way we close this thing out, um, because that story you just told, mm -hmm. uh, three bullets, mm -hmm. not one of them hitting you. Not one. If that ain't divine intervention, if that ain't God at work, then mm. maybe what you say is absolutely right. He had, well, we know that God has a plan for all of us. Yes. Um, but long before you became the cussing pastor, he knew his plan for you. Yeah. So I would just tell you, um, continue doing what you're doing. I enjoyed our conversation. It lived up to everything I thought it would. And um, should you ever need me, I'm here. And I'd love to do this again, my brother. I I, I love it. Next time we'll talk about some social issues and things of that nature. But I enjoyed this. Make sure I get a take for this so that I can share on all of my, my platforms as well. It's been a pleasure, man. It's been an honor uh, to be on the show. And I don't normally give nobody this much of my time. <laughs> oh, I ain't ate a meal a day. I'm so hungry. And my my wife and I went and got me some lunch. I know it's cold by now. But man, I've enjoyed this. Uh, believe me, I, I have. Thank you again for inviting me. You're more than welcome. <laughs> See you, my friend. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.